regarding particles there are the traditional particle groups where you have all of these particles you say i want a 1000 particle or something like that but also there are two different ways of working with particles one of them is using particle emitters uh, and to show them i can i'm going to open this uh, template uh, called magic wand and this gives you an inf some information about uh, what is a particle emitter um, so besides particle groups you have this particle emitter and single point source so what is a particle emitter if you use this this is going to give you an overview of a particle emitter so instead of coming here and say that you want uh, 100 particles 1000 particles or something like that essentially what you are going to say is how many particles per second do you want to generate and how long do you want to generate new particles so in this case if you have 20 particles per second during 10 seconds it's it, mean, it means that you are going to create 200 um, particles uh, over the entire world, entire time. So essentially this gives you all the information about how much particles you want to, to create per second. So instead of simply creating them or eventually adding some delay to it, it's going to create particles at a, a constant rate that you can use for different things and a different uh, uh, an important difference between um, particle groups and particle emitters is that in terms of movement you now can control things uh, in terms of emitter particles uh, and both of them so you can apply movement to the emitter that is the the source of the particles and you can add a different um, a different um, movement to the particles itself for instance in this case what you are seeing is that the emitter it's doing a rotation uh, so you have particles being created around uh, the center of the space but then each particle after being created it's going to have a completely random uh, movement so essentially you have in here the spherical movement that you apply to the uh, emitter and then you have your your velocity that applies things to your to your uh, to your um, particles itself so this is an uh, interesting situation because sometimes you want this kind of effect so it's much easier to create with this also a different kind of situation is a single point source in this case what you are saying is that okay i don't want a particle system because i simply want to make sure there is there is a sound source located at this position so this is almost like a, a particle a particle group with only one single particle and as such you simply you don't say how many particles because it's going to be a single particle and you are going to say where is the actual position where do you want to locate this this sound source in terms of your of your system for instance imagine that you are creating the sound of a car passing by and you want to capture the sound of a car moving uh, 200 miles per, per hour or something like that so there is only a single source so you can use this single source instead of a particle system and then you continue to add the traditional things like movements and things like that but it's not several sources it's a single source so besides um, particle groups remember that you can use also particle emitters and single sources within your project